go to Sydney Johnson, snowboard expert for Curated, and I have helped hundreds of people find the right gear for them. Today we're at Powder Mountain, Utah, testing the K2 Cold Shoulder. Just so you know, we're not sponsored by any brand, so this review is completely unbiased. K2 claims that this is a one board quiver, meaning that you can take this board anywhere. First impression of the K2 Cold Shoulder, it is stiff. So I wouldn't say that this is a playful board. It is like an all-mountain type of design. Don't forget that if you need help finding the right gear for you, click the link below and I will help you personally get the right setup. This board has great edge hold. I never caught any edges riding in spring kind of chunky conditions. It went fast, not the fastest charging board, but if you're an intermediate rider, it might help you control your speed a little bit. You can still send it, but you won't feel out of control on this board. I did hit some big natural kickers off of some trees. Felt really stable on the landing, really stable on takeoff. Groomers, it carves really nice. You can dip in and out of the trees. You can hit a little back country. So I would say greens, blues, blacks, maybe not the doubles, but this is a good board to resort ride. Not in the park though, not a park board. Don't take this here. I would recommend this board to an intermediate rider that wants to feel more confident in their turns and in their carves and a good introduction to a directional board profile. Advanced riders will want something a little more responsive but what's great about this board is it's stable. So if you feel like you've passed that beginning learning curve, this board will give you stability at speed and help you feel really grounded and build confidence in your carving and your turns. If you're unsure where you land on beginner, intermediate, advanced, if this is the right board for you, contact me with this link below and we'll help you get set up. Hit subscribe to watch more from Curated.